Hold it. Uh, hello, how are you all? Welcome back. It's Thursday, the 5th of September. September, yes! I'm so happy it's September. I was so done with summer. Done with summer. I think I probably might have indicated that in last week's vlog <laughs> with the sweat beadlets. So I'm now very thankful that there are cooler mornings and cooler evenings. We've still got a bit of heat, about 20, 21, 22 during the day but the temperatures are coming down, hallelujah. Now, this morning I am doing work, which basically means I'm actually looking for vintage Gucci bags. I received a mailer from Gucci, an email, like a newsletter thing, from Gucci a few weeks ago, and it was about the new 1955 horse bit bag. And I had seen some of those. I'd never really looked for them, but I'd come across some, but proper vintage ones on Vestiaire. And I think I might have seen some on eBay as well. And now I'm kicking myself because they've reissued the bag as a new bag. And like exactly what happened with the Dior saddle bag, the prices of the vintage ones are going to go up. So before there kind of seems to be a madness around this 1955 horse bit bag. I'm trying to get my hands on one. So that's what I'm currently doing. And all I seem to be finding is ones with webbing on them. And I don't want one with the Gucci webbing, the green, the red, and then the green, that stripe that goes down the middle, because I've already got the brown suede Gucci bag. That's not vintage, but it was from 2015. And that has the webbing strap, the, hand, the strap which is interchangeable. It's got the two straps. And I love that bag so much. In fact, I might even love that bag more than Judith. <laughs> So yeah, I'm looking for one without webbing on it, which is proving to be a little bit tricky. So I have a feeling that people will have had the same idea as me and will be looking for the old 1955 bag. So that's my task for this morning. I also need to go and get some stuff together because Simon and I have to go and shoot some things today. Otherwise, because I know I've started this vlog a little bit later in the week. Um, yesterday I went and saw uh, the team at Gleam poet and I didn't know it and that was nice had a little chat and a catch up with them Bumble has had an issue with his eyes we've been at the vets twice this week he's currently having eye drops until next Monday so we'll probably document that because it's very difficult to give Bumble eye drops he's been a trooper thus far but he really doesn't enjoy things going near his eye which is completely understandable and that's pretty much the catch up from us Bumble and his eye so yeah, I'm gonna crack on with my bits and bobs and I'll pick you guys up in a little bit. Oh, it's getting a bit warm outside. Clearly this coat situation that I decided to wear is probably not the best idea for today. But we had to go do some pictures. Um, so now we've just got in. Simon's had to go straight back out again. He's gone to his sister's to just doggy sit for a few hours. So I'm now gonna edit the pictures and I've gotta do some accounting stuff. Yawn, and then, oh, I'm left on my own because Bumble is due his eye drops, which I haven't set a reminder for, so hang on a minute. Alexa, set a reminder for 2 p.m. What's the reminder for? Bumble eye drops. Okay, I'll remind you at 2 p.m. <sighs> She's useless, look at this. Useless. Now, I might show you guys my full outfit for today because I realised I didn't do that before we left. Do you fancy having a look? It's a bit autumnal. And here it is in all its autumnal glory. So I have, must tell you guys before we start, I did spill a little something down myself. Excuse the extreme crotch shot there. So I have a little stain. <laughs> it looks quite an ominous stain that, doesn't it? I assure you it's just salad dressing. <laughs> Oh, gross. So this is the outfit. This was shot as part of a collaboration with Mango. Mango's one of the very, very few and small handful of high street brands that I still work with and that I still shop with and spend my money on. So this is a part of a new collaboration that I'm doing with them for the next few months. So the coat is Mango. The, oh, this little bag 
this mango it's almost like a sort of hound's tooth in brown very vintagey little 90s baguette style bit granny-esque but I like it it's cute and these boots are also mango which let's zoom in they're suede very Isabel Morant and I love them very much the jeans are actually Everlane and the sweater is Marks and Spencer's cashmere and these necklaces are both Miss Oma, the new Lucy Williams collection, the 1987 collection. That's it. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, the sunglasses. These bad boys are the usual Ray-Bans that I always wear. Hey B, time for your eye drops, buddy. How do you feel about that? Huh? B? Yeah, come on then, gummy eye. Yes. Come on, B. <laughs> come on. Yeah, you got off these. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. Yeah, we're just gonna just do this. Just do this. It's all good. It's all good. Don't sniff it. Let's get the drop right at the bottom. There we go, so we can do it nice and quick. Okay. <laughs> Come on, B. This is a two-person job, really, isn't it? Right. No, 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 I know, I know, it's so horrible. Oh, Mummy hates doing this, but let's just try and make it quick. Oh, B, it's so difficult. No, sit. Come on, I know. I know, but I have to hold your eye open, darling. <laughs> B, please. I know. No, B. <laughs> right, we need to change position because this is getting very difficult. We haven't done it yet, B. Come on, just little eye drop, little eye droppy. Yes! <laughs> we did it! Keep your eye open. Keep your eye open. Yes! Right, you're gonna have your treat now because you were a good boy. What do you want? Succulent pigs in blanket. <laughs> Is this what you want, Bee? Yeah, everybody wants one though, don't they? I know, it's not fair to just give one. Who's your good boy? No, Boris, get down. There you go, sweetheart. I know, I'm gonna give you all ones. Crumble's not really special. Don't snatch. Right, Bella, wait. I should have made Boris wait, really. B, down. Good morning, beautiful people. Feel like things are gonna get a bit bright in here. Are we okay? We're okay. It's Friday. We are on a bit of a filming mission at the moment. In fact, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put you guys over here. Hang on a sec. Yeah, we're on a bit of a filming mission at the moment because it's not too long until we go away to Canada. So we wanna make sure that we've got all our content done, ready, edited, scheduled, etc that you guys don't miss out on anything and I'm also feeling super inspired at the moment because it is autumn winter and it's just my favourite time of year, autumn specifically. So that's what we've been doing this morning, we've been filming again, we're basically filming a video every single day this week so it's been a bit filming crazy to be honest with you. Now I've just filmed the main part of the video and I need to film all the cutaways for that video so I'm going to do that in a minute but we've also got about 50,000 packages arriving today because I went a little bit crazy on Amazon Prime buying some new like camera equipment and camera accessories again for our trip to Canada. But I also have some second-hand items which I have been purchasing online and one of them, which I just shoved down here, has arrived. So I figured what I would do is show you guys what I have ordered now and try it on because I'm a little bit dubious as to whether this is going to be the right fit. We're in, we're in folks. <laughs> yes, more leather. Mm, I don't know, we're gonna have to try it on. Right, so basically I wanted, and I know if any of you guys have seen my second hand haul video, which I keep banging on about, and rightly so, because I'm quite proud of it. But if any of you have seen that, you'll have seen that I got a bit carried away with the leather goods, with the leather outerwear. 
And one other thing that I was looking for, this is not a leather coat, sorry I've got a bit of stuff stuck on my hand and it's gone static. This is not a leather coat because it ends just there. So this is a leather blazer. These are a massive trend for this season and there are loads of high street stores which are coming out with them. Arquette has one and other stories have one and they're like 200, like high 200, early 300 pounds marks. Expensive. This was a tenner. So yeah. Now the reason I was a bit dubious about this is because I'm not sure if it's the right length. I'm a bit sort of, mm, is it gonna be too short, is it not? So let's give it a try. Right, well, it's actually not as short as what I was dreading it to be. This was actually a bit of a last minute find and I didn't have long to bid on the item before the auction ended. So I didn't have time, which is what I would normally do to email or sorry, message the seller and ask them to send me the measurements if they haven't included it in the listing. So this one, just simply because of the price, I took a bit of a gamble on because I just thought if it's too short, you know, it was a tenner, I can sell it on and I'll still keep looking for one that is potentially a bit longer. It isn't quite as long as what I was hoping. I think maybe another inch is what I would have been happy with. But actually, I really like this. I like the style. I like that it's single breasted and it's just got these three very simple buttons. I like the amount of padding in the shoulders. I like that the arms are, cause this is a UK size 10 and sometimes, I feel, or actually a lot of the time, I feel like I have to size up in blazers and kind of outerwear so that there's enough room for the arms to fit a knit underneath. And as you can see, I've changed into one of my Marks and Sparks cashmere jumpers. And actually there's loads of room under there. I think I'd even be able to fit a chunky knit. And yeah, tenner. <laughs> Honestly guys, I'm getting well good at this. Now you guys might have just seen behind me that all of my storage tubs are starting to make their way out back into the bedroom once more. This happens twice a year. It's a hefty task, but because I'm starting to write a packing list for going to Canada, I'm starting to bring out all my autumn winter tubs. Now, I know that I film this every single time, but I would like to ask you guys, do you want to see another wardrobe switch over? And there might be a mild clear out as well. There's some things which I know I can see a pair of shoes in there now that I know that I do want to get rid of. And obviously these items are gonna be sold, any other items potentially taken to charity. So if you guys do wanna see like a little mini clear out, reorganize and how I switch over my wardrobe from spring, summer to autumn, winter, let me know down in the comment section below. Hello everyone, it is now Sunday. I think I'm gonna pop you guys down so that we can have a little chat. Hang on, hold on, bear with. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, yes, it is Sunday. Um, oh, the busyness, honestly. This is probably the most organized, but also the most frantic that I have ever been in terms of mass creating content for when we go away on a trip. So today, I think I mentioned this on Friday possibly, we are, or I am at least, going to start to try and get some piles together, my packing piles. But what I wanted to do is just show you guys some of the bits that I've kind of already compiled together. So I've got some chunky knits here, I've gone for a lot of stuff with like a really high neck and like a zip, like a funnel neck. Uh, so this one was from weekday. Hello, excuse me. Do you mind? We're busy here. Thank you. This one was from weekday. It's like a nice torpy color. Lots of like natural fibers as well to keep me toasty and warm. I'm keeping an eye on the weather on my iPhone just to see how it's kind of faring at the moment. The temperature is starting to drop a little bit. I think what's the most worrying, or not particularly worrying, but it gets the sort of coolest temperature early in the morning, obviously throughout the night, but it drops massively in comparison to over here. So it's kind of like four, three, four degrees, which I am gonna love. I'm probably gonna moan, but I say I'm gonna love it. Bella, do you mind? Thank you. No, Boris, we're not getting on the jumpers, darling. Bella. No, Bella, that's... Bella, Boris doesn't want that now. No. Jumper number two, very much the same. 
before I was rudely interrupted. Um, this one is from Cezanne. This one's actually new. Um, it's like a nice camel colour. Nice bit of gold hardware on the zipper. Pretty much the same as the other jumper, just slightly, slightly different details. But again, natural fibres, warmth. And then this one is from H&M. Um, it is, this one is from the premium collection, which is what I tend to shop with. Either the premium or the trend, because they have better fabrics and I just think better quality. I also have some boots put together. So I'm not gonna show you too many because there's some coming up in the boots video on Sunday, but. <laughs> right, boots. Ugg very kindly have sent me these. I don't know the specific name, but these are actually fully waterproof. They're like a proper, a proper, like snow, Canadian, you know, activity, outdoorsy kind of boot. I know I said to you guys that I had loads of Amazon orders arriving, and this is actually something you guys ask me about all the time. I ran out of my suede protector, and I use, or it's kind of suede leather protector. I use this on all my shoes, all my bags. I use it in double amounts on any suede items so not so much on the leather but loads of it i will coat any suede bags and suede shoes so the one i used to use was by a brand called dasco but i just found that they didn't have any of that on amazon which was on prime and i love prime it's my favorite thing in the world so i've gone for this it's by a brand called punch it says it's an instant protector repels water and stains and i've ordered five of these because I'm all about preventing any kind of damage to all of my suede and leather goods. So this is the one that I'm gonna try and I'll let you guys know how I get on with those. I've also started compiling coats and jackets and outerwear kind of things. So I've got a parka here. This, this actually is an Anina Bing jacket, which I managed to get secondhand because she brought that out maybe about a year ago. I think it was last autumn, winter. And then up here, oh my God, this is awesome. This is from Warehouse and look at the texture on that. It's so fuzzy. This um, is a nice burnt orange color, kind of like a, a shacket, but nice and toasty and warm got very autumnal colours going on here, nice plaid blazer. I'm actually not entirely sure about what bags I'm going to take yet, so I'm just sort of playing around with things. And then I've got a few more knits on here as well. So I'm going to carry on now just getting all of my piles together, at least starting to get them together until I do my full wardrobe switch over. I think I'm not going to be able to fully assess what exactly I've got in stock to take with me and then I need to assess space because I do have a habit of overpacking. Which reminds me, I need, this is something that we've done, maybe I might show you guys now actually, I signed up to this programme, I can't remember the name of it, so I think I probably will show you now. Right, I've come downstairs to the laptop. It's called carbonfootprint.com. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape or form. I actually found these just via Googling because I heard there was such a thing as offsetting your carbon footprint. And I thought this sounds pretty awesome. So I signed up for an account. So what I love about this site is that they have the carbon calculator. Basically you can scroll down to this section and they have any number of things, car, bike, bus, rail, any kind of travel that you do, even just general home stuff. We're obviously flying and it's a long haul flight. So I'm gonna do those. So it's a return trip going from Heathrow to Calgary, uh, no via, two of us, and I'm gonna tick this because this is basically for flights that go at high altitude, which is normally long haul flights. So I'm gonna calculate, and that basically gives you here the amount of CO2 that you are using. So then you can click offset now, and it brings you to this page where you've got all these different options of what you can do. So it's up to you, whatever you choose. I've done a couple of these tree planting specifically in the UK, because obviously that's where I live. Um, I'm hoping they bring some up for, like here for example, reforestation in Kenya. I'm hoping they bring some up 
for the Amazon as well because that's definitely something that I would want to contribute towards considering all of the deforestation due to the fires that's just happened. And I just, yeah, it makes me feel, to be honest, a little less guilty about going on trips. Um, obviously a lot of our trips are for business. We don't go on all of these press trips and things. It's just not our cup of tea. And obviously we've got the dogs, so it's a little bit tricky for us to travel as frequently. And we just prefer to travel as a couple, just me and Simon doing our own thing and creating our own content. So we don't travel as much as some people do, but this just makes us feel less guilty about the travel that we do do. And yeah, hopefully it just has a more positive impact on the world. So I just thought I would share that with you guys. Right, <laughs> I've got a little bit further with my packing piles, but I think I'm gonna give up for the rest of the day because I really need to get all my storage tubs out so that I have a better idea of what I've got and what I need to take. Um, so I'm going to sign off this week's vlog here. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to see you guys on Sunday for that boots video. It is, well, I'm not really sure on the title yet, but it's something along the lines of my five must-have boot styles for autumn. So that's kind of given you guys a rough idea. And then tomorrow I'm off to see Debs in our new house. So I'm going to be taking the vlogging camera again. So I'll catch you guys on Sunday and then in the next vlog. 